hello students in this class we are going to discuss about categories of database users so what it mean categories of database users so nothing but those who are using the database we are categorized or we are make a group into set, several categories so here we have four types of database users first one database administrator second one database designers third one end users fourth one nothing but system analyst and application programmers we'll see at the beginning about database design administrators so what the job of them so in a organization many persons use the same resource there is a need of chief administrator to oversee and manage the resources nothing but so here uh, in 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 multiple uh, user cases cases same um, uh, multiple users shares the or uses the same database in the sense in that particular time someone we need to uh, oversee the use of that particular database or to maintain the database or to provide some uh, permissions or to revoke the permissions and all for all those task we need someone so that type of users we will consider it as a database administrators so in a database environment we will we will have two types of resources first one nothing but database second one nothing but dbms in a last session we have discussed what it mean database what it mean database management system so here the database is the primary resource we need to use that one database management system nothing but with the help of some set of uh, applications or programs we are going to access the database we are we can define we can uh, manipulate we can uh, uh, um, uh, update the data and all so to perform all those tasks from uh, with the help of different multi uh, users we need someone to manage or to control or to oversee these tasks so uh the person who monitor the data uh, all those tasks will consider them as a database administrator second one database designers so here we have a database designers so the name suggests someone who who designs the database to design the database in the sense we need we need to, uh, uh, th those who will design the database they have to meet the users end users so here uh, his responsibility is nothing but identifying the data to be stored in a database second one choosing the appropriate structure to represent the data stored in that particular database so first one nothing but we need uh, identifying the data how we will come to know so the database designer uh, without meeting the uh, users or end users he will not come to know which type of data he wants to store nothing but end user we want to store he want to access all those tasks because of that one if you want to come to know so entire structure or entire details which type of data you want to store uh, about his needs and all he uh, the database designers must meet the end users then he have to prepare some set of uh, um, uh, structure for that particular database then uh, to, after designing the database we need to select uh, nothing but database designer must select some structure in that particular structure only he want to store the data because of that when he can fulfill the end users requirements effectively uh, these tasks should be taken before the database actually implemented and populated the data so implementing nothing but the structure is defined uh, implementing nothing but it comes to the action populating the data nothing but the user in, uh, inserting the data before all those tasks the database designers must meet the end users and you have to plan and you have to implement and you have to select appropriate structure to uh, the database you want to design next one it is the responsibility of the database designers to communicate with the database users in order to understand their requirements and to come up with the design that meets the requirement this the this is the main task of the database designers at the beginning it will come next one it will come after uh, database designing someone he we have so to monitor want to monitor all those data last one those who who will use that particular data them we will call it as a end user who will use that particular data so here we are categorized end users into four categories first one casual end user second one parametric end user third one sophisticated end user last one nothing but stand alone end user so here we have a first one casual end users 
So casual end users, as as name suggests, that uh, the user who access the database occasionally with uh, occasionally, but each and every time he will access the database. He he need different data from a uh, or he need a different information from that particular database. So different information, nothing but just imagine. So um, if you consider from a student database as a lecture, if you want to, uh, he may at the beginning he may access the database to retrieve the name or roll number of that particular student. Second time he may access the same database to retrieve his marks in three different subjects. So here that particular in that particular situation the lecturer becomes as a occasionally occasional user for that particular database. In that particular time they are sophisticated database query language they will use to retrieve the data from a database. Second one parametric end user. Parametric end user nothing but they resolves around the constantly around some set of databases. So one particular database with the help of that one they are resolving or for manipulating it may be it for updating the data it may be for inserting the data it may be for any uh, for any reason or for any transaction yeah he, he is resolving around the database repeatedly. So for this type of end user we can give a exam uh, we can give an example like. Uh, reservation clerks for airlines and hotel uh, hotels so these people what they will do in the sense they will access that same database repeatedly maybe for uh, reserving the tickets it may be or cancelling the ticket it may be so for each and every time so if you want to res uh, book the ticket in the sense he have a uh, some set of course with the help of that one he he uh, he's he is access, accessing the database so same way if you want to revoke or if you want to cancel the ticket or uh, hotel uh, reservation in the sense he again he have to use some set of codes. So code nothing but we have a some set of user your graphical user interface with the help of that one he acts he is accessing the database. So here we have a canned transaction so nothing but so before the parametric end user going uh, going to use the database so here we have tested and carefully programmed and tested the database then we are going to give it to a parametric end user for their use. Last one, uh, third one, sophisticated end user. Sophisticated. So, in this particular category, the engineers will come under in that particular category, and scientists and business analysts who thoroughly familiarize the familiarize themselves with the facility of DBMS, so as to implement their applications to meet their complex requirements. So, suppose the engineers or scientific or uh, scientists or business analysts, if you want to access the same uh, one particular database, uh, by accessing the database, you want to, they want to perform some complex operations in the sense they are familiar with the database, how we, we can access the data with the help of that one, how we can solve the complex relationship and all. So, these type of uh, users we are classified as a sophisticated end user. Last one, standalone end user. Just imagine any person or he is installed some set of database in his system and he is accessing the uh, for a practice and all if in that particular case we will consider it as a standalone end user or it may be for a, uh, he is installed or he created a database in his system and for his per personal usage and for any personal usage if he use the database in the sense it becomes as a standalone end user. So, in a standalone end user, we have a casual end user, parametric end user, sophisticated end user, and standalone end user. Last type of user, nothing but a system analysis and application programmers. So, system analysis and application programmer, those who wants to design the database. So, in a previous cases and all, we had discussed database administrator, database designers, end users. So, before that one, some, someone he, uh, we need to create the applications and all. So, these type of users, yeah, they are accessing the database to implement these specifications, nothing but which type of specification he, he got from a user. So, depending upon that one, if you want to access the database, same way if you want to represent the data in, to the user in the sense he wants to use the dat database repeatedly. So, nothing but their task, testing, debugging, documenting and maintaining these canned transactions. So, these transactions who those who will perform them, we will call it as a system analysis and application programmers. This is about uh, uh, database users. So, here we have a uh, four users, database administrator, database designers, end users and system analysis and application programmers. Thank you.